Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so by the end of this video, I'm doing an update on my XJS and I finally got new wheels for the car. Um, they're 19 inch BMW style 67 wheels off of an E46 M3. Uh, initially, um, I was looking for style 32 wheels, um, oh, 17 inch style 32 wheels, um, but I couldn't find any for sale uh, where I live, which is uh, Alaska. <laughs> Um, and I actually found these wheels by accident. I was scrolling through Facebook Marketplace and uh, it was just honestly way too good of a deal to pass up on. So I thought, well, if I like it, I like it. And if I don't, I don't. Um, I know a lot of Jaguar guys out there gonna necessarily agree with 19 inches or 19 inch wheels on a, on a XJS. But uh, this, the, the look has really grown on me. Uh, I was trying to look through uh, pictures of XJS on 19 inch wheels and I couldn't find any. Uh, the biggest wheel size I could find was 18 inches, and I was like, man, I don't know if that looks good. But um, like I said, way too good of a deal to pass up on, and uh, I was out of stock wheels uh, to back up or to fall back on. Uh, I actually want to get new uh, tires for those here shortly. Uh, but anyways, um, first things first, to get these wheels to fit, I had to increase the center bore to 74 millimeters. And then uh, for the front only, I am running a inch and a quarter wheel spacer that is a hub centric. Uh, for the front tire size, I'm running a 225-40. Uh, I'm, I'm able to achieve full left and right lock. And then uh, for the rear, uh, I'll start off the tire size, 245-40. And uh, I'm not running any wheel space or anything crazy back there, but uh, I am going to need to roll the fenders. Um, the rear sits at 26 inches, and that to me is perfect. Uh, I think the, the, the wheel and tire fill up, fill up the fender perfectly. Um, I am struggling with the front here. I think the car has a lot of positive rake in my opinion. Um, I measured from the floor to the, the fender lift gear and it sits at 28 inches. And I don't know if that's what they come from the factory with uh, from the floor to the fender at 28. Uh, I recently just replaced the head gaskets on this car. And while doing that, I replaced and took out a bunch of stuff in the engine bay. Um, uh, I removed the AC, uh, AC condenser, all the AC lines. Uh, I replaced the radiator from aluminum one. Um, it just removed a bunch of stuff. Everything I took off and uh, replaced on the car, put it in a basket, and everything weighed up to 150 pounds. So it was 150 pounds of weight off the front of the car, and that may or may not have anything to do with it. Um, so yeah, if, if actually if any of you guys have a stock X XJS out there, and don't mind uh, measuring from the Ford Defender well, just uh, let me know. Um, another thing I was able to do this weekend was uh, swap this from a dual coil to a single coil. Uh, two reasons why I did that um, was to, well, I guess three reasons. One, to replace the coils because they're, you know, 30 years old. And then two, clean up the engine bay. And the three was to increase the airflow to the radiator. Now, a coil is, you know, small, but... Anything to, to get, you know, increased airflow to the radiator is a huge positive in my book. Um, one thing I've yet to do, since we're on the topic of wheels, uh, I need to install my new steering wheel. Uh, this is a flash power steering wheel. Um, it's 15 inches in diameter. Um, initially, I was going to get a Nardi wheel, uh, but this closely resembles it. And believe it or not, I actually like this style a little bit more. Uh, Again, they're very similar, but the, the spokes are slightly thinner and the teardrops are slightly bigger. Um, another cool thing about Flash Power, um, they actually make a XJS hub adapter for this wheel and I guess a lot of other six bolt steering wheels. Uh, another huge plus to this wheel is that this thing's actually 250 bucks cheaper. Uh, for the hub adapter was 45 bucks and the wheel I think shipped to Alaska was 170. Um, obviously, if you live 48, lower 48 or whatever, um, it's free shipping. Uh, Amazon. I'll leave <laughs> I'll leave the links in the description below um, for the wheel hub adapter and the coils. Um, and it's a nice hub adapter too. It's not you know a crappy hub adapter. Um, actually, it looks pretty good. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna install this on the car. And then uh, we'll get outside, see what this looks like, and uh, you guys get a full look at the, what the wheels look like 
on the car. All right, I got her back down out of the garage. Now you can actually see the full car. The rear, in my opinion, sits perfect. Love how concave these are. So these are nine and a half inches wide in the rear and eight inches wide up front. I went ahead and ordered King Springs for the front. They're 30 millimeters lower than stock, which is just over an inch. And I think that should be perfect. Really get a good look and pan of the car. And then uh, let me show you guys this, the steering wheel that I got installed. So there's a stock wheel for a comparison. So my car is a non-airbag car. So this was really easy to install. All you have to do, take out those two flatheads that releases the the horn pad and then in the center you got a 15 16 um nut well it's a socket that i used and i just impacted it off and worked out great um then you slide over your adapter and then you just bolt up the wheel it looks really good i did order a uh, jaguar growler horn button from the, for the horn for the horn button it will look just like that Man, it is cold out here. <laughs> Give you guys one last this look of the rear and everything. All right, guys. So I think that's gonna be a wrap for this video. The next video is probably gonna be uh, Cheyenne's wreck bike rebuild. She bought a uh, Ducati Monster, and we're finally getting around to it. The next video, you guys see of this car. It's gonna be um, the springs and brakes. Those are the next things I want to achieve on this car. And one last thing I want to show you guys. I mentioned the coil. That's where it sat. It just, you know, it just cleans up the front a little bit. I mean, no one's going to really be able to see that it's not there anymore, but it's the little things. <laughs> All right, guys. Like I said, I think it's going to be a wrap for this video. I appreciate you guys watching the videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.